the only value add we had was one increased rents, which didn't go over very well. And two, um, do rubs, which billing back the utilities. Tell me a little bit about your business plan, your exit strategies, your uh, yeah. whole thing. Well, that deal, first of all, was too small really to syndicate. Um, yeah. Because there wasn't a, lo a lot of meat on the table. Not only that, this property was built in 2007. We bought it in 2010. It was a three-year-old building. It was 100% occupied. And it was in a pretty much no or slow growth market. So there wasn't a lot of upside. We didn't really understand value add back then. Yeah. And the only value add we had was one, increased rents, which didn't go over very well. And two, um, do rubs, which billing back the utilities, which didn't go over very well. So we had a real difficult time increasing the value of the property. When four and a half years came around, we said, okay, this was supposed to be a five-year deal. The loan comes due in another half a year. So we said, okay, we're going to start selling it. But in order to one, pay the broker, the broker's fee, and have a little bit of money to give to investors, we had uh, a certain price. We drew a line in the sand and we said, this is the price that we needed to get. And we actually extended the loan and didn't sell the property until year six because we couldn't get that price. So we finally got the price. Investors did okay. We made a little bit of money, you know, pocket change. And other than that, it was a very good uh, seminar that we had. Yeah. Um, it was a good lesson. We still have some of those investors with us, um, but we made very little money out of it. It was an education. Interesting. So you got that um, that that good uh, tuition payment out of the way and uh, actually capitalized a little bit. Oh, it was. I mean, you know, we got our lessons and it didn't cost us anything as long as you don't count how many hours we put into it. Yeah. Um, but money wise, you know, we made a little bit of change, but not much. Okay. And so then how'd the second deal go? Second deal was practically the total opposite. We got an off market deal from networking. In fact, it was the same broker mm -hmm. uh, that found us the deal. And this one was a real important one because this was both of these deals were from a relationship it was a relationship with the same broker. So when we're talking about our network, mm -hmm. um, this broker was trying to expand into Houston and he actually did a cold call, met the owner of the property who the property he went on was actually 150 unit and asked if he could, if the uh, seller would sell that one. And he said, no, but I have another one. And so we went to the 62 unit property and my broker negotiated with him and got a price. And he called me up and he said, you've got to put this thing under contract. He said, this is the price. Here's the deal. And within a day, we were under contract. But he, nice. he ticked off a lot of other people that could have gotten the deal done a lot faster than I was able to. Um, but he gave it to me. Um, we had a California connection. He was originally from San Jose and then moved out to Texas and we had established a relationship. And so he, he, I guess he liked me because he sent the deal to me first before he sent it to these other people that could have closed a lot faster and didn't have to raise money for it. So that deal we held for three years, we uh, made 120% return for our investors in three years. Nice. So that's that's a forty percent annualized return. Yep. So that was that was a great deal. Obviously, the compressing cap rate helped us out, mm -hmm. but but we increased occupancy, we increased rents, we did a couple other value add things, and that was a fabulous deal. Uh, everybody made lots of money on that one. Interesting. Okay.